Hello and welcome to Quick Maths Revision where today we've got a quick LaTeX tutorial on creating integrals and summations. So what you'll notice is I'm using Overleaf which is the free online version of LaTeX, it's quite useful. Just need your internet connection and then you can access it from any computer anywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by drawing an integral. So the integral command is a command so we're going to need our dollar signs as we need to be in our math mode. So like with any command we'll begin with our backslash so for the integral one it'll be backslash int and then that's our integral itself. If we put the curly brackets that's telling LaTeX what we want to be um, what we want to integrate. So if I wanted to put x squared you'd do x superscript 2 and then we'll do it with respect to x so dx. So now what you'll notice is if I zoom in, it's quite subtle, but this D here is um, it's a variable D, so it's as if this were a constant. You want it to be D in Times New Roman, so like a, a straight D. So what we'd have to do is we'd have to change the font of this D so it looks perfect. And the other thing is you'll notice that my dx is very close to this x squared so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put a space in so to put a space in LaTeX we have to put backslash and then a comma so that's going to put our space in and then to fix this problem with how the d looks we're going to use another command so that's going to be backslash math rm which ref the rm is to do with roman so times new roman and then you're going to put your d in your curly brackets here and if I compile that spot. So did you see how there was a, a little change and it went to a straight D there. So that's how you do an integral but what you'll notice is that this integral doesn't have any limits. So the way that you do this is if we just copy this if I wanted to put it with limits after my integral symbol we'll use the subscript and the superscript commands. So we'll just do underscore for our subscripts. So if I wanted to say from zero, you'd put curly brackets and then a zero and then a superscript and then you'd do curly brackets. And then if we said infinity, we'll use the uh, already built in LaTeX command for infinity, which is backslash INFTY. And then you'll close your curly brackets. So what we've said is we've got this integral here which is going from zero up to infinity and then this curly brackets here is telling it what we want to integrate and then we're saying it with respect to x. So now if I compile that next to this we should get the integral from zero to infinity of x squared dx and there you go. So that's quite good and now with summations we're going to be looking at something quite similar so I'll just go a bit further down. We're going to be in another math mode so do this with our dollar signs then you'll do backslash sum. So that's going to be our summation and then quite similar if we wanted to do say 1 over n we can do our um, fraction um, our uh, fraction command which I've covered in another video so if we do backslash frac and then you do open curly brackets so my numerator is going to be a 1 and then we've got our lower, our denominator is going to be this n here. So then we've got summation of this, so I need to close my curly brackets and then around that. So there you go. So now I've got the summation of 1 over n. But yet again, you'll notice that I don't have any limits. So with the same idea as this integral one here, if I put a copy this first, put a comma and then just paste it in again. So the only difference between this one and this one is I'm going to put some limits in. So we'll use the subscript command there. So we'll do back, you know, um, underscore. And then we want to go from n equals zero up to, so we'll use superscript, and then we'll go up to infinity. So now we've got the series one over n. And as you can see, I've now got these new limits in here. So that's uh, how you create your integrals and summations. So that's them just to begin with. And then you've got integrals and summations with limits now. 
So uh, hopefully that's helpful and you have no difficulty creating integrals and summations in LaTeX.